that extension. Look at that extension. He's got him. Of these giant iguanas here at the golf course. Oh, oh, Lord. Yeah, it's legal. No, no, killing them? No, we're not killing them. We're, they're not dead. What do you have him tied up for? Because we're, we're doing removal out here. Take him. Un undo that. Why? Because you do not have permission. You're, you're coming with me. Guys, you guys know that the iguanas are everywhere out here. People are just getting really sick and tired. So they're hiring trappers like us to come out here and give it a good effort to see how many we can catch. If we don't catch a lot of them, they're gonna keep breeding and making more iguanas. So today's job, so today, me and Christian's job is to catch as many iguanas as we can from this condominium association. Yep. Oh my gosh. First iguana on. He's a female too, bro. Oh, wow. She's warm. She's warm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Feisty, girl. Dang, why do you think she was warm, bro? She's getting that early sun. Hey. I got that tick, that tick right there. Too. She's fat. That is a fat looking iguana. Guys, comment down below if you think this iguana might have eggs in her. I don't know, her behavior right now is kind of feisty. Look, she's trying, hold on, let me see son. Whoa. Oh, whoa, this, hey. Yeah, I think she might have eggs in her, bro. Look at that right there. I think she does, bro. We just landed the first iguana at today's job. Look at her right there, little feisty female. Don't want to get too close to her because she is very, very moody right now. But guys, these iguanas are out today and the sun just came out. The kind of iguanas that we're gonna be targeting, the pregnant females and the giant alpha males. Guys, we got our first iguana in the bag. Christian, keep up the good work, bud. Thanks, bro. Gonna Put him in the bag. Oh, oh, whoa. Calm down now, she's biting the bag. That wasn't part of the plan. Holy crap. Dang, she got some chompers on her. Some yeah, she's not letting go of that, bro. She ain't letting go, all right, just still. Put her in the bag. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. Oh, oh. Chris has just spotted another iguana sunbathing. It's really hard to see him right now because he's trying to camouflage. But let's see if Chris gets him. Oh my God, he just dodged him. He just dodged him. This is insane. This is insane. This is insane. He's got him. He's got him. Look at that iguana. Oh my gosh. Bro, nice grab. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. What do we have on our hands now, Chris? A male. Male. Look at this, guys. Big male. Big, big, big. Look, really warm too. Look at his. You know what's crazy about these things? Yeah. These things literally do look like little Godzillas. And, and what would you say, Chris? He's got a white face. He's got a white face. See it? Oh my gosh. And black. And then green in the bottom. Oh my gosh. So many different things. That's orange right spot. here. Guys, comment down below. Why do you think this iguana has a white face? Is it because he put too much makeup on? <laughs> Is this a new type of subspecies? Or is there something about this iguana that we just don't know? Please let us know. Hey. Oh. Hey. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's just stuck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. His face is so massive that Christian is barely able to get the thing around. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There he is. He's on him. He's on him. He's on him. He's on him. Guys, he is on the giant alpha. Look at this. Whoa. He is super flared. Oh my god, dude. Oh, wow. Dude, this is a giant. Wow. This is crazy. The giant alphas are out today 
and Christian is doing a fantastic oh. job. 30 iguana removed, and it seems like they're getting bigger and bigger, y'all. Uh, you guys are seeing this right here. This is absolutely insane. We are doing iguana removal here in South Florida, and Christian from the CNL family is catching these giant orange alpha iguanas. Giant. Or I need a video for anything. Yeah, there are some little ones right now and we will pick them off if we can see them, but they're camouflaging so good that it's really hard to pick them out. Look at that, there are some right over there and they are running. But I think Christian sees a bigger prize in his eyes. Yes, guys, there is a king alpha iguana right over there. He's getting leery. Oh my God, look at that extension. Look at that extension, he's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Look at that giant. Giant iguana. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 there he is. There he is. He just woke up. He just woke up. Oh wow. Oh wow. Go ahead, bro. Just be really careful. Holy. Look at this, guys. It's like a miniature dinosaur right here. Oh my god. Holy. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the tail. Look at the Dude, tail. Five feet. Guys, that was insane. This is really good, man. We're doing some really good work removing some of these giant iguanas here at the golf course. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh. He's mad, dude. All right, let's, let's, let's not agitate him no more. We're basically done for our hour because we're just contracted for an hour today. But as you guys can see, we were pretty successful in that hour. We have about 10 of them in the bag, including like two or three giant alpha males, guys. So we're gonna go back to the car and we're gonna show you guys the final catch. I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Also remember that Christian, uh, we're, legal? yeah, it's legal. No, no, it's not, not on private property, it's not legal. Oh, we have permission though. From who? From the car. Uh, Main advisor. What's his name? I don't know I'm his name, sure but he gave, he gave, a gave us a here. tour around the, uh, he gave us a tour around the, uh, so you're just killing him? No, we're not killing him, we're, we're not dead. Ellie. Because we're, we're doing removal out here. And you're saying the maintenance guy said that? Yeah. Because he's right over there. I'll go yeah. ask him. Go ask him. He Let's go. Me. Untake him. Ta un undo that. Why? Because you do not have permission. No, you can, you can actually uh, you can go find him and then come back. We'll be here. No, you're, you're coming with me. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right I'm here. We're going in here. Yeah, so you know iguanas are invasive species though, right? There's probably 10 of these things left on the property. 10? Yeah. No. I'm there's... out here. I'm going to go find the maintenance guy right Let now. Me. You go through that, ma'am. All right. Have a nice day. Okay, so as you guys seen, we got quite a few of them in that one hour of iguana removal. Guys, you guys got to understand something. Every time you go hunting, even if you're doing it professionally or for fun, there's always going to be people out there that appease to what you're doing. Isn't that right, Christian? Yeah, that's just what happened right now. So as you guys see, that lady, she was very passionate about the iguanas. She claimed that there was only 10 of them left in her lake, but little did she know, there like 10,000 in there. About 10,000 of them, and we are actually contracted to be there for that hour of removal services. You guys seen the amount that we caught and also the amount that got away. So, comment down below. Who do you think was right in that situation? Were we right for not egging that lady on and getting her even more mad? Or was that lady right claiming that there's only 10 iguanas left and we should have left them alone? Let us know in the comments. Guys, we are out. We got some preem bait right there. Some primo, some preem, nice shiners. Bluegill, we got two of them big golden shiners right there. Probably all we're gonna need to get hooked up on a big fish. I have no idea what these ducks are doing, honestly. Seriously, like what is this? Oh my God, something just clapped. Oh my God, I think it's a snook. I just put him right where the drain was and I seen a small peacock bass coming up to him and then all of a sudden I seen a huge roll Guys, I'm by myself right quick. Whatever took it, just completely rolled on him. Got him. Oh my God. 
big bass. Come on, baby. Wow! And he ate about a five inch bluegill, y'all. Look at that. I'm telling you, I knew it was big. Didn't know it was this big. All I saw was a huge flash in the water. It's nine and a half shoe compared to that bass. Big bucket mouth bass. Look at this. This is unexpected. Unexpected right here, y'all. Nice, healthy bass. Yeah. He's four pounds. Yeah, luckily I don't eat these bass, but it's just really nice to see big fish like this in the wild still. We had a freezes a couple years ago and it killed off a lot of these monsters. And a lot of people be eating the bass. I don't got nothing against it, but me personally, I just like to catch and release these giants. Big old peacock right here. Look at all them head shakes. He's dancing now. Fucking peacock bass right here. Wow. He's probably a solid two, three pounds as well. Hook just popped right out. Now the FWC released these animals in the wild to increase the sport fishery of freshwater. A lot of us come out here and we go saltwater fishing, but they want the freshwater fishing to be as enjoyable, so they introduced these peacock bass. Ooh. Oh, there, buddy. Oh, there, buddy. Whoa. 